What up guys, it's Ryan with Grizzly Game Reviews again, and I got a new video for you here. This one is on Minecraft, a game I've spent quite a long time playing now with uh, friends and by myself. It's a very, very addictively fun game, very simplistic, but it hooks you so easily, um, as long as you have creativity. If you don't have creativity, then then this really is not a good game for you. So in this video here, I wanted to, uh, wanted to highlight a mod that I have. Uh, both on my server, my multiplayer server, as well as my friend has it on his, and he's the one who actually introduced it to me. Um, it's called Voxel Sniper. Uh, you can Google it, and it takes you right to it for a download on it. But it is an amazing tool for Minecraft. Essentially, what it is is it's a in-game map editor, so you can do anything from hollowing out things, building things, huge structures. It just it makes things so much easier if you want to build just whatever you can think of. Now I won't go into too, ma too much detail on it, but what I did want to show today is actually the blob brush, because I haven't seen too many YouTube videos on it, but um, I was just playing around with it one day and found, wow, this is a great mountain making tool. So uh, here I have, uh, I, I made a mountain, and uh, I will show you the video of it and take you through step by step if you already have the mod and are just curious on how to use it. Um, this will show you how. Now one thing I do want to note about Voxel, for those of you who have or have not used it, uh, would know that it is very destructive. It can totally alter whatever you're trying to make, so you have to be very, very careful with it. Now while it can destroy it, obviously it can also create, and you can make some pretty amazing things with them. Uh, YouTube, for example, has you know, just limitless videos on it. Um, I know the, the guys who actually developed the thing, um, if you watch their Asteroids video, which is actually where I learned quite a bit about the... Uh, the the mod itself is actually pretty miraculous. So what I'm going to actually start with here is the command slash V and then I'm going to choose grass. So this is where you would choose anything you want from grass to water to snow to whatever. And then I'm going to do slash B10 and hit enter and that's the size of the brush that I'll be working with. And then to get to the blob brush just do slash B space the word blob enter. Alright, so now that we have that all set up and we're good to go, I'm just going to start left clicking here and as you can see, just little tiny blobs just go down. So, uh, it's very sporadic but very chunky as well and actually, uh, it's kind of small. Um, let me switch over to slash B20, so I just increase the brush size, don't worry about that warning sign. Um, unless you want to pay heed towards it or not if you're really concerned about it. But um, uh, Yeah, so this is pretty much how I just start here, I just make a little base, just blobbing. So as you can see, I got a nice base here. Now I'm just going to start building up. So just like the base, you just kind of work your way up. Alright, so now that I have the mountain set up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just uh, using the same exact blob brush here, but just uh, start putting on the snow on top. So now what I'm going to do is the uh, slash V snow to change the grass from snow there, and then I'm also going to downsize my brush a little bit here to 15. Now one thing I want to show you guys here, as you can see as I put it down, this is actually the incorrect way to do it. If you do snow, it's actually going to just physically replace the grass. Um, what you want is to get that snow on top. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change it to um, actually snow block, not just snow. And as you can see, a much different result, but far, far better. So now at this point, I'm just going to blob on top. So don't, uh, again, it looks fairly bad right now. That's just because we haven't tightened it up and smoothed it out yet. So. Um, essentially, you kind of want to make it bigger than what it's going to actually be because when you do tighten it and smooth it down, it's going to get much, much smaller.
All right, so now we get to the fun part. So this command here is slash b space e slash the word smooth, b e smooth. So once you have that typed in, all you do is just use it like any other brush. So you're just going to left click on whatever you want to smooth. And actually, let me turn this brush size down to 10 here just to be safe. But as you can tell, I mean, as I'm doing this, you can see just what amazing brush it is. It, it tightens things up. It makes them look so much cleaner and smoother. It makes really great layers if you want to make layers on stuff. Um, it just it just overall, it just makes it look way better. And now there's really only one thing you have to watch out for in this one. If you make your brush size too big and as you're using it, um, you can actually like level off trees so it looks like a bomb went off and they just all got leveled off on the top. Um, so you just have to be aware of that if you don't want that to happen. Um, but again, Voxel has a, uh, a tree building brush, which uh, I can, I'll can i make a video for in the near future here. But um, you just have to really be aware of your surroundings um, with all the brushes here. That's why they can be so destructive. You can be working on something and all of a sudden you realize, hey, I've hollowed out all the ground beneath me or I've destroyed something I did not want to destroy. So one quick last thing I want to notice here, if you guys look at the mountain, you can see um, the grass blocks almost in splotches still where the snow surrounding it. That's just because I didn't make the snow go out far enough. If you really expand it, make almost like a big giant bubble or dome on top of it, and then compact it down as much as you want, you don't really have to deal with that. It's also, you can just switch it out with a real block. All right, well, this here has my, been my blob brush tutorial. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you already know how to use the brush, you're just kind of curious about um, how I went about it, you can actually check out the non-tutorial video that I have up, uh, and you can also expect more to come.